I have a new thing that's in my mind that I'm putting out there. Uh, what it is? I'm officially done with Volvo. I understand. Uh, I mean, I don't had too many breakdowns, bro. Way too. Many I understand. Breakdowns. At this I point, understand. it's just, it's just, it. I, I shouldn't break down that much, bro. Come on. Right. I don't switch companies and got a new Volvo and broke down. I'm done with Volvo. I'm, I'm through. Because my thing is, when they run, love the truck. Love it. Right. But it's right. Just, it's just keeping them running. So which will you prefer now? I think it's if not I had Volvo. a choice, if they were saying, I was going to go out here and get my own truck or somewhere I was leasing, it would be between a 579 and a uh, Cascadia. Peterbilt or Cascadia? I understand. That is, man, them fresh fresh going to be riding. Yeah. And they're strong. They ride real strong. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'd rather just have a straight shaker, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done playing the game. You know, five seventy nine, which is the regular Peterbilt everybody got, or a freight shaker. Yeah. If I had the money, it'd be a Western Star, but I don't. You know. I ain't oh yeah. Money. It'd be. Yeah, a Western Star. I remember. I remember I seen that that black member, that black Western Star. Oh, the that cabinets. Oh my God. Ooh, that thing wait. was nice. Luxury. And the truth is, it's built on a Cascadia. It's just a Cascadia. It's just decked out. Man. But the whole cab is some some weird unobtainium material. Uh, I forget what they call it, but it was a uh, shit. Where did he hit me from? The sneaky McGee got me. Yeah, but uh, that would be the one. It would it would be it would really be uh. I don't know. I kind of. Oh, we gonna go over it. I like to have buildings. That's my shit. I like buildings. I don't want to be just a start here. But I, yeah, overcover ain't gonna work. Nah, I, I just think that at this point in my life, where I'm really serious about my career, I've been in the game for a while. I can call myself a veteran. I know the real truth about what we're doing out here. You're out here to make money. And the rig that makes you the most money for the longest period of time is the rig you should be getting. Period. Screw what it That's looks right. like. Screw how it runs. And what I'm going right. to say is the two rigs that work the best, from my experience, is between a 579 and a Cascadia. Volvo, love them to death, but I can't, I can't keep it running. I understand. I understand. I really do. You know, cause I know you vote easy right now. You living for real. Yeah, I love it, man. I love it. Oh, I love it, man. I wish it had been a new model of all VZ, but I stick it with this one. So far, this one's been a champion. It really has. It really has. Other than the other day when I got to uh, a shipper, I got to the guard shack to give the guard shack my own um, pickup number. So I had to crack the truck. No, that's what, that's what it be about, bro. Like. You just gotta, you just gotta know, like, you know what? I'm done. I've done my time. I've coveted the, the uh, nice trucks. But when it comes down to bringing the bread home to mama, I need something that runs, bro. Yes, yes, cause that's how you gonna make way more running. And when you having a problem, and the truth, oh, ain't that. The truth is, your old lady don't care <laughs> nothing about that truck, bro. She care about if the check hits the bank. Yes. That's for you when That's you out it. there and you want to feel like a big man and shit, but it don't pay no bills. Oh, it definitely don't. Looking good don't pay no bills. <laughs> and if anything, it call it costs more money. You know, you get a premium truck. There's premium part prices. You know, there's uh the parts aren't as readily available when you have a Volvo because you're dealing with a uh, uh, import. It's just a lot of things. Like, yes, they have to get that from another country. Yes, that part too. Yeah, when you get a freight liner. They don't liner, carry the parts like that. Get that part anywhere. I liked it, my freight liner, bro. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie. I did like that freight liner I had. But the only thing I didn't like about it was the optimized idle. I spent a lot of hot, 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 hot nights and days in that truck when it cut off. So you AP, oh, you, you're able to idle where you at now, though, right? Oh, yeah. This truck don't cut off at all, brother. At all. I need it to constantly stay on. That's what it's about. All right, that's that's a good deal. It ain't good for the truck, yes. but you ain't got to pay for it. So. Yes, yes, that part. And you're in your truck playing the game right now. Yes, yes. 40-inch TV, purely mounted, PlayStation 5, TV, T-Mobile, in-home internet. Lovely. 
it oh, definitely really and it helps the mind because when I when I go inside the truck stops and I just you know just glance by looking at these truck drivers, a lot of them be sitting in their truck looking very miserable, right in the in the driver's seat, just sitting yeah. there. It's the, 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 it's the tech. Knowing your technology will help you out so much. Yes. Because them flip phone dudes, they're doing a hard time, bro. I'm going to get to this. Baby. One guy I seen. Okay. I seen one guy. He fell asleep in the driver's seat. He couldn't even make it in the back. He was just chilling right there. Yeah, that shit is sad. No TV, no nothing. Like that. Just sleeping. Hold on. Old lady going to pop in and slow down okay. the magic and shit. Special thanks to Corey. Wilson just signed up for the Patreon. He will get be able to message me directly. He also will be able to see videos before they come out. Weeks, sometimes months before they come out. Also, we're at TB Uncut. We're almost up to 500 followers over there. On Rumble, you get 100% of the notifications. So if you don't know what Rumble.com is, that's where all the people are going for freedom of speech where you cannot be blackballed for your beliefs and what you think and what you say. So make sure you sign up for that. Sometimes on YouTube, they don't really, you know, they don't really pay attention to the notification. You say, I missed a live. If you're tired of missing lives, go sign up for rumble.com. It's TB Uncut. And if you want to help support the channel for more than just cash apps, you can hit the Patreon channel. And that Patreon channel, you get stuff first, you can message me directly, and you also can help support the channel. I appreciate everybody who signed up for the Patreon and the TV Uncut. I'm happy that you're here for the live. Let's get into it.